I've done quite a few videos where I showed how to convert uh, lawn mowers and generators to run on propane as long as you run the propane through the air intake side or the air box uh, attached to your fuel carburetor. Uh, one of those earlier videos I showed you um, how to drill a hole in the air box, mount a rubber grommet to run the uh, propane line into the air box. Um, this other mower I've got here was done slightly different. Uh, and I'll show it to you here. This is a Tecumseh. It's a Murray mower. And as you see here, here's my attachment for the propane tank and the little worm gear clamp where I'll usually mount the uh, propane tank, the one pounder. But here, you see I've got a, a brass elbow. And people always ask me, well, how does it keep from coming out? Well, I'll take this off here. And the easiest way to do it, as you see, the air intake still has a filter. But if you look there, you've got that brass elbow um, with um, a cotter pin in it. Uh, you just take a drill bit, you drill through the, that soft brass, put a cotter pin in there, and it allows the gas to come through. And it even allows this to pivot without your fuel hose coming out. So again, that's one way to run the gas into your mower um, through the air box where your air intake has um, got proper filtration to keep your motor from getting gummed up. But uh, look at my other videos. Uh, look at my other videos as to how to actually do the conversion, but this is just a slightly different way of mounting that uh, propane hose to your air box. I'm going to show you some of the valve components of some of the kits that I've put together and also some of the regulators. Um, just to answer a real quick question, I had a comment about the E3 Diamond Fire spark plugs that I've mentioned in video one, part one, and about how there's been some problems with using those. I've never had a problem with any engine that ran the E3 Diamond Fire spark plugs. Um, that's what I recommend. Um, however, uh, use what is best for your application. Now, these are some different valves that I used or to start off with. This is um, one from um, Mr. Heater. It's used to regulate um, a disposable one-pound tank here. Um, this is just a regular ball valve that I made um, with some barb connectors. And you can see some gray uh, material. It looks like putty there. Um, on this one and this one. That's just JB Weld Epoxy to seal up those threads. Um, this is one that I got from a hobby store. It's a stainless steel barb connector type. Um, this one's basically the same thing but in a plastic. This is like a aftermarket Briggs & Stratton um, fuel, fuel line valve. Um, this one right here is one I got from another parts store and uh, as you see it's brass. It's metered also. It's got different dial settings. Uh, for the propane. Um, this one is a, a needle valve. Uh, this is one that's been recommended to me a couple of times and it, the only reason I use these larger ones first is because I simply didn't know if I needed a large flow of propane or a small flow. But as it turns out, um, these little needle valves and um, this is another one here. As you see this one has a spring on the bottom and the reason for that is, is uh, I've been trying that one out because of the vibration of an engine may change your propane fuel setting to fluctuate. You may actually open it or close it. And with this this one being under tension and this one being under tension and some of these others, um, it kind of helps with that. And it does actually really help with that. But these needle valves, that's really all you need. You know, one or two pounds of pressure on the propane line is about all you need to get um, adequate flow to run the engine. Also recommend using, if you don't use JB Weld Epoxy on your threads, make sure you use the yellow vinyl tape. This is for gas, uh, vaporized gas type systems. Find it at most part stores. And as far as regulators go, um, this is a standard um, grill attachment for a 20 pound propane tank, 5 pound or 10 pound, whatever you want. They do have adapters where this will fit the 1 pound tanks. Um, again, why you would want to use this when you're cutting the yard, the tank can slosh around a little bit and, and it will vary the um, pressure of propane to the engine, which may 
cause to make it run funny. Um, this regulates the pressure, not necessarily um, these are going to regulate the flow of propane. This regulates pressure. And here's another one of my setups here. This is actually a high pressure re uh, regulator. You don't need that. You can use a standard pressure. This has the adapter for a one pound propane tank and has a needle valve on it. So um, again, you can use those to connect those together and put your uh, put your little uh, propane conversion kit together on your mowers. Hope this helps you out. And uh, I recommend watching part one and part two of the propane videos to get the full picture of what's going on here.